Hey everybody, welcome back to part six of Ace Attorney. I'm Kenny. I'm Cam. And we're doing it. Yeah, we're on I was amazing in there. Yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, even May agrees with us. I think I might be your newest fan. Sweet. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Hey, you don't you're hey, not allowed to talk should, about him. I will take you up back. We'll kill you. Huh? <laughs> 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 That's a face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sends shivers up my spine. What? Huh. If you say <laughs> So what happens with me? You go back to jail. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? The man with Miss May, he is the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all. <clears throat> and it's for a full record of April May's testimony. Mm -hmm. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. Yes, it would. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Uh, no, don't second guess yourself, Phoenix. Most of her testimony was all lies. Yeah, uh, that's true. In fact, there's only one part that got left on the record. Oh, we should probably take a look at that. I don't know how much good this will do me at all for now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. May doesn't belong in that detention center. It's up to me to get her free. Oh, wow. We would have just we got to so a free. We were just so close to a fucking save point anyway. Yes. Why yeah. Not? Why not? Doing it. On the right, on the wrong side of town. September 7th, 311 p.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you didn't think you were going to hear that voice again. I guess they don't make a jumpsuit with a low-cut top. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. Not, you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fall in this May. Gotta be honest, yes. Yeah. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Well, tough shit, lady. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? There we go again. <laughs> Please, you're scaring the security guard. <laughs> so, what is it you wish to ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? This is a fucking super upbeat super music. Upbeat song. Yeah, that's right. What about the man who stayed with you in your hotel room? Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Hell, fuck. Might as well go down the list. Yep. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Oh, when you say it like that, it just sounds so cold. So criminal. Uh, tapping people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Where the fuck else would I learn it? Why does that make us a creep? <laughs> this woman is impossible to talk to. Yeah, yeah what's with your attitude? What's with a big stick up your arse? No kidding. Why are you so angry? I mean... You don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer. B bottom? <laughs> I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? Ah, well, probably a bit of both. Probably both. Honestly. Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs> Wait, I want to show her that thing. Oh, uh, go back? I can't hit. What's back? Uh, X. Oh, right. I figured it out all by myself. <laughs> Check out my lawyer's badge. Check out my lawyer's badge. 
Check it out. Uh, A. There you go. Hey, guess what? Actually, I, um, really hate your guts. So get lost, because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. <laughs> so much for that. Check out my sweet lawyer dash. <laughs> Check out my... Check out these fine leather coats. <laughs> Uh, same thing. I, I don't think she's gonna cooperate with us right now. Alright, fine. Uh, coffee. Fuck you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Bring the fuck out of here. Yeah, fuck this. Let's bounce. The gate water. The gate water. Fuck. September 7th, gate water hotel, room 303. Uh, yeah. Be there. Ah, uh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I do dare say so myself. Oh, uh, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no. Not at all, sir. Your efforts today can only help the Gate Waters rep, as they say. Oh, is that what the hip kids are saying? Huh? Rep? <laughs> yes. Our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. Ooh. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murder iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, you already know what to do. You know what's up. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir. Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. What? You did You're so shit. full of shit. She do it. Do what? What the fuck? Are you a mind reader? I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's like a triple entendre. <laughs> I knew it from the moment <laughs> I saw him, sir. Not this shit again. He and I are the same elk. We both carry the scent of <laughs> danger. Danger. Look at, look at this fuck. Look at, this, <laughs> look at the, the tray and the fucking, you ain't dangerous, buddy. Dangerous. The most dangerous thing you do is carry boiling water. <laughs> Yeah, there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. If you had a photo of that man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. That man. A photo, huh? That exoskeleton. That that exoskeleton. <laughs> yeah, could you tell me about this hotel? And not Metal Gear? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I suppose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Manor. Oh, shit. Well, what do you think? Uh, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess that's... Unless we got a picture, I guess we're pretty much done with this guy. Unless we can fucking show him our sweet attorney's badge. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we can. <laughs> Woo! Oh... God damn it, you fucking worthless shit. Fine, I'll take my attorney's badge to someone who can fucking appreciate yeah. it. We'll take our shiny attorney's badge elsewhere. Boom, 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 gooding, gooding. I don't think, I don't know if there's anything for us to do back at the office. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. We're gonna find out. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. I suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Oh, we can always look at Charlie. <laughs> ah. Our All lovable right. fucking office plant. Uh, examine. Yeah, Charlie's a fucking tree. <laughs> Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Charlie! No! Okay, fine. Alright, so I guess we fucking gotta go to Grossberg. Oops. Huh. September 7th, Grossberg Law Offices. 
Huh. Looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Oh, there's stuff. There is. And there's not stuff. There's Wait not a second. Stuff. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging yes, there on? Was. Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of my dick. <laughs> ha! <laughs> Got him. On the wall, just a picture of your dick in your <laughs> a office. A picture of his junk. In your own office. <laughs> How vain can uh, you be? Uh, <laughs> wasn't it, it wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. <laughs> Obviously not. Let's see, what else we got here? Yeah, I see that caught your attention. What's this? Old photos? There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Incident, Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Hmm. Let's take a look at these. Eh, fuck. Hmm. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo? I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. Photograph quietly added to the court record. <laughs> oh, well, that changes every once in a while. But uh, yeah, we can look at the other one too. A photo lies on the desk. <gasps> oh. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Swap photos. I think I'll swap them. Who is that douche? My god. He looks like that dude we saw in the intro. He does. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Oh, yeah, that's right. Good thing. I got a present for you. Yeah. It's not as cool as my shiny's attorney's badge. <laughs> or a big, big picture of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. That's Oops. him, detective. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Uh, um, I'm the lawyer. <clears throat> Oh, I know that. You can say it any time. No, no, I don't. <laughs> Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. It looks like a douche. <laughs> How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? Yeah. This guy's way too excited about this, but yeah, fuck it. Why not? Yeah, why not? There's no reason not to. Paperwork, paperwork. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. Hard, hard copies are good copies. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who <laughs> swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. <laughs> this Fuck. guy's a fucking nut. He's a... F God, he's such a fucking Melvin. Fucking keener. Well, okay. I get... That's all, folks. I guess. <laughs> Is that all I get? No, there's gotta be a talking... Well, I think we have what we need to deal with Miss May. Ah. You sign out of my face, dude. Oh, did you, get, did you hear that thingy? Yeah, it keeps popping up in the corner and fucking distracting me. Oh, hold on. Uh, you might not be able to do it right now. Ah, uh, it should be okay. There we go. Gilligan, can't you take the hint and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. <laughs> oh, so it's my fault now. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it absolutely is. You don't have just spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. That does it. When this case is over, I'm shaving my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about the man who stayed with you in our hotel room? Yeah, we already went through this. Yeah, but... Or was it unmarked? I'm not telling. Okay. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sold out the late Miss Faye to the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm. Maybe if I had Ooh. something to get her to talk. Okay, so I guess at this point we have to fucking... Rub that, uh picture of our dick in her face <laughs> <laughs> you see this you see this i got it painted it hangs in my office <laughs> <laughs> actual size may vary <laughs> <laughs> yeah right look i've said several times i'm not telling you Ooh. oh shit uh oh where did you aha a reaction this is him isn't it what who when why it is him. 
This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Yeah. D do you have proof that it was him? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. But we do have proof because the bellboy helped us. Suck it! Can you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. He told us everything he saw. <laughs> he told us about the man you checked in with. He told us who he was. Yeah, get fucking done. Yes. Now I'm getting somewhere. Tease her fears. Okay, okay, she's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. Miss May. It'd be easy for me to hand this affidavit over to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Oh. Someone I think you're not up to it, hmm? Show them a little kindness and they jump all over I you. I should've just- Fuck, I you knew I should've- <laughs> Oh. Just put her to the coals. That had the opposite effect of what I hoped. Ah, poor little lawyer. You're so close. I think I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it! Discard the bellboy's affidavit. The man in this photo is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. Well, shit. What happened? Oh, I think we clicked out of the window. Yep. Uh, well, I guess we, we sunk this avenue. Uh, I guess we better Shit. back off and try going somewhere else. Th this is actually new to me. I did not think that was a thing that could happen. But well, Why'd I, you keep it to yourself? Well, I, I didn't know if the game was going to stonewall us. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? Ah, <clears throat> uh, the old familiar clearing of the throat. Uh -huh. You again. Uh, hello, Mr. Grossberg. <clears throat> well, uh, it's alright, that was the voice I was getting. <laughs> You're quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. Mm, yes, of course. He was there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. <clears throat> Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through me, maybe? <clears throat> Brings me back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I apologize. Hmm? I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well... <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd rather you give me some information. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, maybe Grossberg will fucking fill in that blank Hopefully. for us. So, you came to see the trial. <clears throat> yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? <clears throat> well, you see, it's me, a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. <clears throat> I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? Yeah! Fucking dick. <laughs> Next question is exactly that. I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. <clears throat> right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. Hmm. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. Yeah, <laughs> the fucking painting. That seems to have mysteriously disappeared. The other day, I'm sure there was a big pretentious yes. looking painting on that wall. Pretentious looking? Well, you know, the, the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Uh, yes, mm, yes, indeed. I uh, got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I, uh, oh, shit. I sold it, you see. Mm, yes, that's right. Sold it? I'm not sure I'd buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... <clears throat> <clears throat> wow, Grossman. 
Grossman. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe we can show him something. After all, we still we still got the picture of fucking that douche. Show him the picture that I fucking. Yeah, that you stole from him. Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it from your office. <laughs> Give it back at once. Mr. Grossberg, tell me about the man in the photo. He may have been in the hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything? Very mm. 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 <clears throat> well, I'll tell you what I know. Damn right you will. Oh, I will. You didn't hear it from me if you follow. I follow. That man is Mr. Red White. Yes, indeed. He's the president of Blue Corp. Red White? Hmm. Blue Corp. There's something like a detective agency, right? Hmm, they're information pro. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. <laughs> Despite the name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Whoa! Hang on, are we getting... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Should you run across him, watch what you say. You wouldn't want him digging up any dirt on you. Hmm, selling information. Sounds like blackmail. Yeah. Can you tell me about... Or can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm, I suppose. Sweet. Mr. Red White at last. Finally. A lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't April April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Body break. Oh god. Body break. <laughs> Return photograph. Mm, now I must ask you to leave. I need to think about things alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's not awkward at all. No. Leave me alone. My giant dick painting. <laughs> <laughs> or I need to be alone and mull over the loss of my giant dick painting. It truly helped me think. It helped me. So oh, soothing. Blue Corp. You know what? I think I might cover oh, this beard. Oh, how about that? Mm, wow, that does look familiar. It does. Here, I'm going to see if I can come up with a voice for this dude. Okay, I was about to ask it. Which one? What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your person in this. pretty good. What the fuck? <laughs> your name? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Uh, Wright. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Oh, it's the guy that makes up words. It is the guy that makes up words. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary. Vocabulary, vocabulary, you know what I mean. <laughs> it wouldn't matter either way. What is this guy's problem? Yeah. I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. Fuck. Fucking dick. What a fruitcake. Yep. Hmm, let me guess. You're an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yikes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. No kidding, look at his fucking gaudy pink ass suit and the diamond cufflinks and fucking buttons and shit. Check out my sweet attorney's badge. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, but that really doesn't seem to concern me at all. Oh, I want someone to react to my attorney's badge. <laughs> someone love me. Oh, okay, same deal. Maybe we should just talk to him first, I guess. Fine, be a dickbag. <laughs> Wait, what were you expecting? I was not, I don't know what I was expecting. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretarius. Oh, wow. What a shock it was to hear that what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. 
She does uh, gather information for us as part of her duties. But I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. Yeah, sure, buddy. Just like with Grossberg. <laughs> it is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. I can agree with that. Me too. On the night of the murder, <clears throat> were you in April May's hotel room? Oh. Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. Wow. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. What does that have to do with anything? No. <laughs> Still, Mr. Just White. Fucking bullshit artist. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he doesn't remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Oh, shit. Now you've done it. Huh. He's got a good... Raises a good question, actually. Why didn't prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Mmm. Mm. Oh. The police? The courts? To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. What a yeah, this dick. A douche. This guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. What kind yeah. of company is Blue Corp, anyway? Ah, uh, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We're a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information. In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, uh, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Yeah. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named itself. And why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? Fuck. <laughs> oh, God, I hate your guts. Uh, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? The big painting on the wall over there. It's all you, Cam. Uh, let's just see what he's after this. Say, when did you get that painting? Um, no idea, I forgot. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Oh, wow. Right. It appears you did not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Uh, a lawyer? Show you my lawyer's badge. Yeah, we, we showed it to you, but you didn't give a shit. <laughs> no, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney grody burger. <laughs> what? Good. Ow. Oh. He he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. That's nuts. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder. Is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. Wow. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live a life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. What a dick. Look at that. Look at that fucking shrug. Yeah, he's like, oh, I, don't I, I, don't know, I don't know what happened. I know, he's got so many fucking rings. He punched us with those hands, Cam. Oh, you're gonna fuck. With those hands loaded with rings. Yeah, like that the wall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should uh, clear my throat. <clears> hmm. <throat> Jehoshaphat. Oh, you, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. 
Mm, I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Oh, we better put him to the fucking gears. Yep. Yeah. Work him over. So, you came to see the trial? <clears throat> yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't... Oh, wait, we already read this, didn't we? Nope. Uh, what was that? Well, you see, it's just... Okay, yeah. This part I do remember. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, weird. Mr. Weiss? So, I paid Blue Corp a okay. visit. Oh, right, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. <clears throat> what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just that, uh... What are you thinking, Cam? I'm thinking he's getting blackmailed, like, obviously. Yeah, that, that seems pretty fucking yeah. cut and dry. That photo, Mr. White, I guess the big painting. Makes yeah, sense. that's the biggest thing. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it today. It was in the CEO's oh. office at Blue Corp, Red White's office. So noticed. It was pretty hard not to. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Yeah, why would somebody a large painting of a dick like that? <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Connected, you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Your lover! <laughs> Your lovers? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's tempting. <laughs> Better go with the real one. <laughs> Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. Mm. I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Mm. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you are me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels at finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been playing for about 15 years now. 15 years? That's a lot of fucking money. That is a lot of money. Oh, because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of the photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be now impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They're bound, unable to do harm to themselves. And therefore, to him. Don't look at me like that. What do you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Oh yeah, we got some new options now. Nice. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than a sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. Spirit medium. Medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Faye. Indeed. She was me as mother. Yes, yes, of course. She'd been investigating a murder at the behest of the police. And she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her and in the end cleared her of any wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. <laughs> but why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know that they were using a medium. <clears throat> they couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It was an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. 
In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. And uh, we might have to go through your refusal anyway, even though we've seen it. But it's just for the sake of knowing it. If, if you hold down Z, we can actually speed through the text. Because oh, we've already seen it. Yeah, it's funny how he has to think about telling us after he's already told us. Yeah. Okay. So now, as far as I know, we're done with this, guys. So we should cut this episode off here because we're a little bit overdue. Okay, there. So we decided to run a little longer because shit was getting intense. So like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And my voice needs a bit of a rest. Yeah. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Bye.